Hello everyone, what's up? My name's Foster, and welcome to another episode of Foster's Handy How To's, the video series in which I take you, the player, through the ins and outs of every activity available on the Outer's Life of Steve Outer's Life server. And once again, everything you see here, such as the statistics and inf information, uh, is subject to the Outer's Life of Steve Outer's Life server, and if you're on a different server, your experience may differ. So today we're going to cover a topic that's been requested by a lot of people, and that is meth. Now, meth is not something you want to start unless you have a fairly deep pocket. Uh, so what I'm going to be going over, first of all, is the prerequisites to meth. Now there are two different types of prerequisites. There's going to be what you can start with and what I recommend you start with. So to begin with, what you can start meth with is $205,000. Now this is because it will cost you $175,000 for a meth processing license and at least $30,000 to do one meth run. Now, what I recommend you start with, however, is one million and seven hundred thousand dollars now this is because of the reason of transport as well as quantity of meth that you'll be selling now the reason for such a high price is because i recommend you take a helicopter with you on your travels and not something as small as a hummingbird i recommend you go for either an orca if you're a non-donator or a ghost hawk if you are a donator now the reason for this high price is that the Orca costs $1.2 million, a pilot's license costs $25,000, You once again the meth processing license is $175,000, and when you go on this adventure I recommend purchasing around about $300,000 worth meth kits for you to process and sell. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly jump into the methodology. I won't be showing you where to purchase a pilot's license as just like every other license this is available at the DMV and those have been shown in the previous videos so you should be okay with that. Uh, but yeah, let's jump straight in. So first things first, Wild White, you need to buy yourself some meth kits. These can be found at the pharmacy in Athera, located at the coordinates 139186, near the market, general store and Outback Outfits. So this is what the pharmacy looks like from the outside. Now, be careful when you walk in as there'll be two NPCs. The one on the right you don't want to use, as he's the doctor. You know, the real one. The one on the left is your guy, and he sells meth kits. Just click on him, and you can see that he sells meth kits for $30,000 a piece. Don't worry, this may seem steep, but at the end of this, you will be making enough money to get it back, and then some. Now it's come to my attention that although I've shown you where to buy licenses in the past, I haven't shown you where to buy helicopters. These can be found at the air shop on the main airfield, at the coordinates 146167. Now it's nice and easy to find, it's in a safe zone, so you'll be perfectly safe while you're purchasing your big flying beauties. When you're here, simply walk up to this clerk, and make sure you click on helicopter shop. Here you can see hummingbirds, orcas, and ghost hawks for sale. Ghost Hawks normally cost $6 million, although you saw there they cost $600,000 if you donate. So you just want to buy yourself that Orca, and it should spawn right in front of me. As you can see though, I'll be using that sexy thing in the background. Damn, she's good. Alright, I think we've had enough funnying around, and it's time to do some proper meth processing. Now the first place you want to go is Meth Processing 1, which can be found at the coordinates 210149, as seen on the map. It is in the middle of the swamp, and it's not only the first place you'll process your meth, but it's where you'll purchase your meth processing license. So be sure to bring $175,000 along with you. Alright, now this place may not look like much, but it's the first place you're going to be processing your meth and purchasing your license. Simply walk up to the clerk, if you haven't got your license, and click buy it. If you have, click on process the meth. As you can see though, I've already got my meth processing, so I don't need to buy the license. Now, as with pretty much everything on Altis, it'll take roughly 30 seconds to process an entire batch. Once your batch is finished, however, as you'll see just now, it'll tell you that you've processed 3 sodium hydroxide, and this is the next ingredient into creating pure meth. But don't worry, we're not finished. Alright, so on to meth processing too. Yeah, I probably should have told you there was more than one. Anyway, that doesn't matter. If you want to find Meth Processing 2, it can be found just south of the Salt Flats at coordinates 237170, as seen on the map. It's also not too far from Meth Processing 1, Highway Patrol, pretty much anything really. 
Anyway, when you arrive, it'll look like this. And as you can see, this guy has some torn clothes. Simply do as you did before and click process the meth. Once again, this will take 30 seconds for a batch. And that's all there is to it. Now that we've finished processing and we've stopped perving on this poor guy, it'll tell you that you've processed crystal meth. Now, uh, once again, this isn't the last stage, there's another one, but don't worry, we'll get onto that in just a second. So get back in your choppy and fly away. Alright, meth processing 3, and I promise this is the last one, don't worry about it. But meth processing 3 can be found at 187102, just south of the Piergross and surrounded by some wind turbines. Now as you can see when you arrive, once again, a guy by himself next to a shack and a fire, and all you have to do is click process meth. Once again, this will take about 30 seconds to do a whole batch, and all you have to do is sit around and wait twiddling with your thumbs or, I don't know, whatever you do in your spare time. Okay, so we're finally done, and as you can see, we've processed 12 pure crystal meth. So now what? Well, well, we sell it. But cheers, guy! And we're going to now go back in our choppy, I guess, and uh, take you to the location of the trader. Alright, this is it. Payday. Now, to find the meth dealer, all you have to do is go to the coordinates 169121, immediately south of Piedgos. So it's very close to an ATM and to society as they watch you sell your illegal drugs. Anyway, when you're there, simply approach the meth dealer and click on Dealer de Meth. Don't know if it's supposed to say de meth but it has for a very long time. Anyway, sell your goods like you normally do, and as you can see, it's time for a juicy payday. So now you know how to process meth, and how not to make a how-to video, but you probably want a bit more information, such as your profits and earnings. Now, yeah, it's quite a hefty starting fund, but from this you can make quite a bit of money. One unit of meth gives you a profit of $28,000, which is a fair bit for a single unit. And if you were to continue doing meth with the method I showed you for one hour straight, you'd make roughly $1.5 million. Now, I don't really have a lot of evidence to back that claim up, but from my own personal experience and estimations of money I've earned, I can say with great confidence you should, hopefully, make around about that much money. So I hope this has helped you out, I hope you've learned something, had some fun, I don't know. But, as always, I've been Foster, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the server. Goodbye.